Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal. I'm here today on another adventure in uh, Israel, this time a little bit further afield out of Jerusalem, taking a break from all the protests and uh, political chaos going on. I'm here um, in a little kibbutz called Yifat in the north of Israel, uh, somewhere sort of between Haifa and uh, the, uh, the Kinneret, the uh, Sea of Galilee in English. I keep forgetting the name. And I'm here today in the uh, outlet store of uh, Redback. It's probably well known at this point outside of Israel that Israelis are kind of obsessed with with uh, Blundstones because they're an amazing rugged boot, especially for a dusty Middle Eastern climate like this. Australian shoe and somehow Israel has emerged as one of the biggest global, global customers of Blundstones. But I'm kind of a little bit obsessive about researching uh, purchases. So when I was looking for uh, recommendations for a really, really good shoe for hiking and day-to-day -day use, a lot of people on uh, Reddit, the uh, specifically the Buy It For Life subreddit, BIFL, highly recommend it. They recommended these uh, red back shoes above Blundstones, um, especially if you're looking for someone with more kind of ethical manufacturing and uh, quality control because they've kept their manufacturing in Australia. Blundstone have moved it out to different countries. So this is our showroom. We came all the way from Jerusalem uh, to be here and um, it's really cool. They have a great selection of boots. I've just picked up my first pair of uh, hiking boots and I hope to get a lot of use out of them during the upcoming uh, Pesach holiday here. Uh, they have a great showroom, as I mentioned, lots of different shoes as well as jumpers and uh, belts. You can find their boots in DIY and hardware stores throughout Israel, but of course, if you want to come for the best selection, go up to the manufacturer. So this is the uh, red back store outside of Kibbutz Yufat, or just inside of it. If anyone's curious, I'll put a link to their store and to where to find this place. Uh, they're open regular business hours and definitely worth coming up here if you're looking for a pair of red backs to check out their product selection. As for how much these cost, the UBCH red backs, which I purchased, the version without the steel toe cap cost 530 shackles, including VAT. That was a little bit more expensive by about 100 shackles or so than some of the alternative stores that I could find in Israel using zap.co.il, which for those not familiar is a really excellent online price comparison engine for Israeli stores. However, I have to say the customer service I received from Eyal was second to none and it's probably as good a selection of redbacks as you'll see in a showroom anywhere in Israel. Just to give you guys a sense for how much that compares to international prices, at the date that I'm recording this video, 530 shackles worked out to be just shy of 120 pounds sterling, a tiny bit less than 150 dollars and 221 Australian dollars. Hope that video is helpful. Thanks for watching. And if you want to get more videos from me about everything to do with life in Israel, please consider subscribing.